In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. If you wish, I can be clean. If you wish, I can be clean. That's what a person suffering from leprosy requested from Jesus. And Jesus said, I will be clean. All of us, we have something that has made us clean in the mind and the spirit, emotional and physical. We can't say we are clean. All of us. And in fact, no one would claim to be innocent and pure of it. Then the Sami said, if you should mark our pain, Lord, hold something. And this is what we hear from the gospel. For you to be a witness before them, a witness to what and blood and the spirit of Christ, then you have to be clean. But most of us, we are contaminated in our minds. And unfortunately, some of these things are even coming out in the community where we see pride, corruption, faithfulness, and all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred Christmas. I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have already sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have felt to do, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most grievous thoughts. Therefore, I have blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy and us bless our sins and bring us to the last. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. The grant we ask, Almighty God, that the nativity of the Savior of the world 
made known by the guidance of our star, may be revealed ever more fully for our minds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, Son, for these and dreams we share in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is it that overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood, and the Spirit is the witness, because the Spirit is the truth. There are three witnesses, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God, that he has borne witness to his son. He who believes in the son of God has the testimony in himself. He who, he who does not believe God has made him a liar because he has not believed in the testimony that God has borne of to his son. And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He who has the son has life. He who has not the son of God has not life. I write this to you who believe in the name of the son of God that you may know that you have eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O, o Jerusalem, Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Sion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. He established peace on your, on your borders. He gives you your fill of finest wit. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. O oh, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. He reveals his word to Jacob, to Israel, his decrees and judgments. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his judgments. O oh, oh, Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Jesus was preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every infirmity among the people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. May God's reading according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus, to one of the cities, there came a man full of leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and begged him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. 
And immediately, the leprous left him. And he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing. As Moses commanded, for proof to the people, but so much, the more the report went abroad concerning him, and great multitudes gathered to hear, to be healed of their infirmities. But he withdrew to the wilderness and prayed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. In the ancient Near East, leprosy was not a disease that one would be comfortable to have. And they used to throw them out of the community. So if you have leprosy, then you'll be thrown out of the village and you would even become a scavenger because you cannot enter into the city. And most of the cities in those days were fortified. Like the city of Kitwe, then you'll have the whole fence all around Kitwe. So you'll have just two or three major gates. And they used to throw rubbish outside. And that's where they would take food for those of leprosy. And sometimes they would scavenge for, for food, living out of the community. Because you are unclean. And sometimes people would not come out to throw food. Then these people suffering from leprosy would go into the community. And they will be singing, unclean, 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 so that you run away. Because if you come in contact with them, then you're also unclean. Just like where we are now, we we'll say we are unclean, all of us. And we have to shout, unclean. But when we meet Jesus, we we'll say, if you wish, I'll be clean. And it was not allowed to touch a person with leprosy. Then if you touch that person, you also be unclean. And you have to go and see the priest for the formalities of you to be cleansed and go back into the community. So if that happened, even to us, who would survive here? Because we are all unclean. We are not innocent. We are not innocent. And in the world we are living in, there's compromise in the true things of the law. No wonder we cannot give witness to the law. Everywhere you go, people have stopped living the life of Christ. Even worship has become something that we would say formalities. A lot of people in the community, they go to church on Sunday to pass time, not to be converted, converted, because conversion is what is important, metanoia. To turn from old life to new life. But most of us, because of pride, some even when we are not educated, we feel like we have all the degrees under the sun, and we look down upon others. Some, because of pride, we cannot even say sorry. That's being unclean. And some, we think we can buy the world by using our positions or gender. That's not the way. We are unclean. And it can be so much that it will be difficult for you to even realize that you are making a mistake or you are sinning before God. Because 
you have taught yourself this is the way. You know, some people who are addicted, the people who are addicted, they don't even know that they are addicted. They're addicted to alcohol, addiction to sex, and all the other addictions. If you control them, they cannot. Because they think they are well. But upon realizing that I'm unclean, then declare it to the Lord, and the Lord will pull you through. Because it is, should be that we are clean, and then we can present ourselves to other people and to witness. That's why if you are even a baptized person, a priest, that's what we become when we are baptized. To give glory to the God, to our Lord. It's not easy to stand before people and witness to Christ. Why? Because it's not about just being witness. It's about preaching what you are or what you believe in. This is also difficult for us as priests. Especially in the world we are living in now. Where we are consumed into the promptings of the flesh. And the promptings of the flesh sometimes make you lose integrity. They make you lose respect of self and others. Think of it. Every day, most of you, you are above 20. And we have preached to you about loving, about forgiving, about kindness, self-control. People have preached. But see, every day it's like nothing was preached and you were not even challenged. Sometimes for us who are priests and people do this, you say, what about are you the one to qualify me? You have to listen so that you convert. You become a new creation, a new creation. So, if today we, we say we are unclean, then find time. It is something that is unacceptable to find that uh, the people in this community, some of you don't even go to church. You don't even tithe what you receive from the Lord. So the cost of living is, is too much. Because you have said that, then you are blinded. And some of us, we even have at home DSTV or God TV. Then you start panicking. But yet you are saying, Issues for the church, they are secondary. They are not issues. For you. But my brothers and sisters, the moment for you to declare yourself before the Lord, to clean you is now, so that we can be true witnesses of the Lord in whatever we are doing and wherever we are. And we are all engulfed in fear now. Fear of death. We are afraid. The whole world is afraid. But again, we are all living our creation. We have forgotten the creation of the Lord. So if we want to be free and we want to be with the Lord, then remove fear and take responsibility. Take responsibility of what is expected of you. And what is expected of you is the restoration, restoration of who we are and what we were at creation, the original goodness. Let us now offer Through the word, made flesh. 
For the church of God, let her pray without ceasing that the word was made flesh and lived among us to remind us that in everything Christ supports and strengthens his church and his people. Lord, hear us. Through the word made flesh. For the leaders of our world, let them show through their laws a deeper awareness of God as loving Father and the dignity and destiny of every human person. Lord, hear us. Through the word made flesh. For those who have not yet heard the gospel, let us be true witnesses to speak for the light so that Christ's goodness and love may shine through us to everyone. Lord, hear us. Through the word made flesh. For those who believe in Jesus Christ as God's only son, let us realize that we are God's children, not through any merit of our own, but through God's free gift to us. Lord, hear us. Through the word made flesh. All these are petitions, those who are God accept the gifts we offer at this Eucharistic feast. Bread and wine to be transformed as through the action of your priest. Take us to, Take us to the transform of us, be your blessed us in Take us to, O Lord, transform us, be open, us increase. May our souls be pure as faultless as the hosts of we so find. May all stain of sin be crushed out like the grave that forms the one. As we do become partakers in this sacrifice divine. As we to become partakers in this sacrifice divine, take our grace, O mighty Father, living God, eternal truth, which we give to Christ our Savior. Pleading here for us, I knew. Grants of to our present, and comfort and love renew. Grants of salvation to our present, and our faith and life renew. Grants of pleasure to our presence and our bears and our renewal. Grants of pleasure to our presence and our love renewal. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice to yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
receive with favor, although we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion, faith, may be theirs through these heavenly visions, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Our it is right and just. It is really right and just our duty in the salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord and Father, Almighty, eternal God. For today we have revealed, you have revealed the mystery of our salvation. Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his mortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are praying. Holy, holy, Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. What's in the highest? Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. What's in the highest? Yeah, and we call you our Lord, the Lord of all holiness. Make holy therefore this people by sending down the things upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the body of Jesus The time was betrayed and yet had been in his passion. He took prayer, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given. In a way, he took the charges of once for the thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of the blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for me. Forgiveness of sins do this memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chest of salvation, giving thanks that your God is worthy to be in your presence. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your change. Spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our hope, and Benjamin, our bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters of falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all of dying in your house. Welcome them to the life of Christ. Have mercy on us, we pray, but with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the world, Blessed John, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of these two throughout the ages. May merit to be called heirs, eternal life, and may praise and glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. O Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days. God, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you save the apostles. Peace I give you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious you grant our peace and unity in accordance. Holy and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit, number of calls. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Number of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Number of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the number of God. Behold the rejects of the city. This is what's called the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, that I may say the word, and I should go and be Fill my house unto the coolest. Eat my bread and drink my wine. The love of my bed is from no one. All I have, I love and all I do, I give to you. Let my time to the fullness. Finding me, let us to see. Let my heart to you I'm preaching. All I have, I know, and all I do, I give to you. Cast out Lord, with love no man. Stone us from the cross, this person toss. Love of men, as I have loved you. All I have, and all I and all I do, I, I give, give to you. Join, Join with me as one in Christ's love. Christ love. May, May our hearts all beat as one. May we leave ourselves completely. All I have, and all I do, and all I do, I give to you. Fill my house unto the fullest. fullest. Eat my bread and drink my wine. The love I bear. From power, all I have, I do, and I do, 
I give to you. Set my time unto the fullness. Find in me the trust to see. Set my hands to you and reach All I know, I know I do. I give to you. Uncle, who touches to our partake of the sacrament? When we pray, the effects of its power in us that we may be made receive the gift through this very gift through Christ. Amen. Prayer for the year of unity. Almighty God, source, source of love and communion, we, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who by his death on the cross has destroyed the things that estrange us from one another, and read revenge and discord. Grant that we may be united into one body by means of this cross, so that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries may join hearts, and every division may be overcome. May the riches of Christians and ministries contribute to the building of the kingdom of God, so that the laity, the consecrated, and the ordained ministers may be one flock under one shepherd. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord with you. And with your spirit. Oh my God, bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Thank you.